25.3 degrees. Yeah, I know that thing has seen better days. I'm gonna do a cold start today. It's not very cold, but it's cold for this. So the plan is, I've been keeping my snowmobile in that shed. And that's a pain. And I've got my snowblower and my lawnmower in that shed. I'm gonna take those and put them in there. And then that way that sled can park right there next to Jeff's sled. Take it. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get a cold start today. So this lawnmower hasn't been started since, uh, I run it later than normal this year. I think it was about mid-November I parked it there. So yeah, mid-November, mid-December, mid-January. It's been a little bit over two months. It's the 28th of January today. And 25 degrees is pretty cold for that. And I just covered the back and across the front, got all covered in snow. Now that it's too important, but now it's gonna go inside that shed. Now we're gonna move all this junk out of the way. So I'm gonna set you up here. And that thing will start right up. It was just running yesterday. But we can start that up and get it out of the way first. Gonna let that warm up for a minute. I'm gonna use it to make a little trail here so I can uh, get the lawnmower out. And all this junk will go live in that shed. It's an Aaron's Icon X, 52 inch, the Kawasaki motor on it. It's got 30 weight oil in it. And uh, let's see, throttle is frozen. Choke works. Let's just see what happens. I had it do that one winter. I started up and it started right up and just idled. Let's see if we got power. Oh, holy cow, she's weak, but it almost tried. Wowza. Let's try that again. Choke. So yeah, that thing started up pretty good. Uh, we'll just let it sit there and warm up, see if that throttle cable unthaws. 
when it gets warm and uh, I'll just snow blow this little path here so I can get it out. And I'll set you up somewhere where you uh, probably can't see anything, but. move some of this junk out of the way. bonus cold start on that piece of crap. somewhere and use both hands that will make that work through there just fine but I'll turn it around or turn the camera around because lawnmowers are not known for going well in the snow
All right, well, that was very uneventful. So let's, uh, let's see if I can get that piece of crap to start. So uh, that thing is a piece of junk ever since I bought it new. The last time it ran, the last time it ran would have been, I might have used it in November a little bit to neaten up something when I was doing leaves or something, but well, let's see what happens. Full choke. the primer bulb at least a million times. I'll even set the throttle lock about, and we'll go about halfway. Ooh, got no connection here. Uh-oh. I guess we won't get that bonus. Well, I ain't gonna bother to make this video about this thing. I'll have to tear it apart later. Or I'll make a different video or something on it. So I guess that's all I really have for now. Cause uh, I'm just gonna move all this junk. You guys don't care to see that. That thing started right, I was surprised, and the battery was weak too, but she went. So I guess that's all I got for you for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little mini cold start. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. So it is negative three right now, which I did a quick Google search and that's negative 20 Celsius. And uh, I figured I'd add this thing on as the bonus cold start to my lawnmower video. It was filmed it the other day, but I ain't uploaded it yet, obviously. So I think I'm gonna put this at the end of that video. And I never really thought of doing a cold start on a snowmobile before, cause they always run in the cold, but I noticed on my video of the Ford truck, I had snow and cold start and whatever in the tags. And like 20% of people found that video by typing in snowmobile cold start. So I figured I'm gonna do one. It's negative three, so it's pretty cold. Maybe I'll try it again if it gets colder, but I figured I'd do it while I had the chance. And plus I've only got the recoil start on this thing right now. So, uh, let's see what happens. She doesn't like to idle very well either. I put the stock pipe on it. And that helps some, but it still needs some adjustment. So. It, it usually starts in three pulls. Because I've got no... No electric. <laughs> Cause she is kind of cold. I was kind of on the throttle and it stalled. Now well, let's see what happens.
So that wasn't too bad, I guess. Other than I stalled it. Now we'll do a uh, bonus bonus cold start. This thing should start right up, but I've started it a lot colder than this. I didn't think it would give me any problem. She won't like this though. <laughs> there, so I guess I'll set this camera up over there somewhere. So if I crash trying to load up, you'll be able to see it. Just set up on the roof. There's your uh, pair of bonus cold starts. And uh, I made it up the ramps without killing myself. That sled is so wide that I guess it catches a little, a little better than it looks. It catches in the outside. It was in the outside one on this side. And uh, I guess it was in the uh, second in on this side. But the skis are so wide that it just looks like the skis are way over the edges <laughs> when I redesign it I'm gonna put like a, even if it's just like an inch board behind here in between this piece of metal and there so I give me an inch on each side plus I got these nuts in the way so I guess if those nuts weren't there I'd get just about an inch on each side but yeah just give me a little more room on my next one I need to start working on that but I don't know when I'm gonna have time it might not be till a summer project but I'd really like to build a new deck. This is the deck that those ramps belong to. My neighbor built this one. She's a lot nicer than mine. It has these for traction and for the skis. But see how this one, of course on the full size truck, it fits between the wheel wells. So it has room for the ramps to tuck in there. So I wanna design a new one for the Toyota that the boards are in a little bit and then it has two bys going like this with the plywood on that that way the plywood just sets on the wheel wells on a Toyota and then I'll have all kinds of room under here because it'll be a few inches taller but yeah anyways that's for another video thank you for watching if you like my uh, random cold starts please like and subscribe thank you very much